Hi, and welcome to The W. I'm here with my father, William Julian, and I'm interviewing him about his unique job, which is a truant officer. So, why do we need truant officers, and what exactly do they do? Well, uh, truant officers, which we call in New York City attendance teachers, uh, are needed, they're necessary, because we have many, many children in the New York City uh, school system. We have 1.1 million students, and there are many students who um, are absent for different reasons, and for whatever reason, uh, an investigation needs to be started so that we can find out why the student is absent and try to uh, get the child to return to school. All right, so since you've been a truant officer for about 20 years, what are some of like your typical reasons that students don't come to school? What is it, what is normal to find on the job? Well, there are some children who have um, physical problems. Uh, they might have a broken leg, and we set up what's called home instruction for them so that um, students can have tutoring in the home while they're convalescing and healing, right? And uh, so we set that up for them. Uh, there's also other reasons that uh, children miss uh, school. Uh, some children are older, like high school students, who are uh, working and they need to be uh, given opportunities to finish uh, their high school education at night. So we will put them into a transfer school. Okay, very interesting. So there's a lot of different reasons for students to be missing. Yes, there are. Yeah, as many reasons as there are students, I guess you yeah. could say. So how do you track down these students that are basically missing? Well, we have uh, a system in New York City. It's uh, a computerized system that uh, tracks students. And we can use certain reports with different parameters to look at how many days a child's absent within a certain time frame. And when we notice that there's some sort of a pattern, we uh, many times the school will ask me to get involved when they cannot um, find a child. So my job is to sometimes go out in the field mm -hmm. and actually drive to a student's last known residence and do an investigation as to whether the student is still there. Um, and if they are, then what seems to be the problem? Okay, sometimes I have to dig through uh, old um, records that we have in the, in the school of emergency numbers and that type of thing. But there's many ways that we find, uh, have to track students and, and hope ultimately to find them so that we can have the discussion to get them to come back into the school building with their parents. Okay, so overall, working your job, what challenges do you face the most and what is it that you like about working your job? Well, as far as the challenges go, I would say that um, one thing is that, you know, I do have to go into certain buildings and neighborhoods that can be uh, somewhat risky, um, you know, housing projects, tenements, uh, private homes. I, I have to go everywhere that wherever the children are living, that's where I go. So it is a challenge, A, to get there and have parking and, and get myself into the building itself. It's so, also the challenge of is the area safe when you're making a home visit. Um, so that's something that's concerning um, and uh, it is a challenge sometimes. Um, also the challenge can be that students who have given up on themselves, who you know no longer want to go to school and, and don't feel connected to school in any way, how do we reinvent their way of thinking so that they can um, maybe see things in a different light where they can see education as uh, something that is a bridge for them. Uh, uh, so that All right, thank you for your time. Okay, you're welcome, anytime.